ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much to the Julius Andrews for that amazing music that you're listening to. Letting that play out. Yeah. So yes, I just returned from LA a couple of weeks ago, taking some great pictures of them out at Whiskey A Go Go, the legendary Whiskey A Go Go. Uh, so yay for that. And they're very gracious to allow me to use that song for uh, normally my reviews, but we've been having some issues with my normal live theme. So I'm just using them as some backgroundy stuff for the moment. Yay for them. But welcome to my Twitch channel. I, I'm slowly but surely updating and adapting things, getting used to this whole, you know, world that is Twitch. Uh, that's what I want it. Um, yeah, so, and I've also got a new camera here that I've been playing with. Uh, if you are, have been paying attention, I just finished off The Legend of the Traveling Tardis, where we discussed some of the other shows that we're watching while we wait for uh, the 60th anniversary specials to come about next week, we're going to be doing the same thing and I'm going to be hosting. Uh, I wasn't, I just kind of popped into the last show. However, uh, I was just helping out in the background because we had so many people interested in talking about this topic that we've split into two shows. Uh, other than that, let's get to what we're doing today. So today I am going to try out Ramen Ramen. I've got a bunch of other stuff here. Just as So Legend of Traveling Curtis goes off script sometimes, especially this. So we, we had a little conversation about Robotech. So I had to, uh, to mention that there is some new, new source book for the Robotech role-playing game. Super excited about that. And we've got a... Uh, we're going to have a foodie episode coming out. And I may be using a uh, game-related recipe. Maybe, possibly you'll have to tune in uh, and find out that. But in the meantime, I've got Ramen Ramen here. I have not, just for the record. Uh, nope, I want the other way around. There we go. I have not, in fact, tested this out. Uh, it is entire, not entirely sealed, but it is mostly sealed here. So we've got some, some cards still, but you can see it's still in the plastic. Even the, the card cards are in the plastic. So, hopefully this is enough space. If it's not enough space, well, we'll figure that out. I'm going to turn on the tracking on this camera. See? It's fancy. So when I move over a little bit, it'll still show up. And we're going to do that right now. We're going to slide over. And look! It moves with me. It's kind of cool. Um, there is a tag on here. I love when they do it. It's a matter of finding where you can actually pull it from. And that's something that is probably, you know, not great for broadcasting Twitch is, is I haven't got a darn clue what I'm doing, but I'm not afraid of being, a, making a fool of myself in public. So I would rather pull this out and learn it with you live than most other options. Throw that over there. So we've got... Uh, ah, so these are clearly some some uh, helper cards. Cool. And... I'm also trying out some new uh, locations as far as how I'm physically set up in my space. Uh, so that's a thing. Before I shuffle these, let's take a look-see here. And instead of for two players, we're just going to swing to... I know that there is, because I briefly looked, a uh, solo rules. So, uh, manage the kitchen by yourself is a rewarding puzzle. Do your best to get the most out of all your ingredients. Set up according to the two-player rules, which I will do in a moment, but only one hand. After shuffling and before drawing your hand, discard four cards from the deck, face down. They won't be used in this game. Uh, play as normal until the entire deck and the fridge have been consumed, and all cards in them have been played. So, I only vaguely have an idea what the heck that any of that means. 
because obviously it's a game about food. I, I, I made sure to stop and have just a little bit of a bite to eat before I, uh, before I came online because uh, I was going to get hungry. Um, ramen Ramen, hello! You've earned a spot on the line at the best ramen shop in the world. I'm going to kick my s strut here. Uh, best ramen shop in the world, according to locals. To prove your worth, you've made a bet with the other line cooks. Whoever serves the best ramen walks away with today's tips. Get as many different ingredients into the ramen bowls and claim them before the other chefs do. Now fire up the boilers, send those bowls flying. There we go. So. <laughs> Let's see what we have to do to set up for a two-player game. Because it is entirely plausible I have to take a bunch of these cards out, which will be easier to do before I shuffle them. Shock. Um... I'm just going to do one other thing here. Do, 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 do. Because I can. There. There. And there. And there. And there. All right, there we go. That's all fixed. So let's see what we got to do here. Uh, Ramen Ramen, of course, comes from Japan Anime Games, who do the uh, arguably the best uh, games from and or about Japanese culture. Uh, I've got some great stuff coming from this. is one of the games that they uh, gave me at Gen Con. They've got a few more that I've, I'm going to be pulling out. Uh, not all of them are, are soloable, so I'll get to them as I get to them. Uh, I've got. I definitely have more than my share of uh, of solo games available. I'm gonna have to start hunting for a a couple more that I really want, actually want to pull back out. Uh, uh, uh. Objective: out with the other line co cooks by serving the most and best bowls of ramen to gain the most total points. Your ingredients: fifty six total ingredient cards valued zero to seven, one of each, for the following fresh ingredients: eggs, pork, fish, cake. Bamboo, green onions, seaweed, mushroom, plus reference cards, Ooh. and bowls. I am not going to attempt to do any of those in Japanese because, you know, I'm not actually at all good like that. Uh, oh, that's one other thing I'm going to do as I do the thing here. Do, 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 do. If you are watching me fumble through this, thank you very much for uh, your patience. I appreciate it greatly. Um, do that. Do that. And that. And do 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 do. do. Who am I trying to find? Darn it. hate when I can't find somebody. Uh... Oh, hey. It's it's uh, Vicky Wong's birthday from, from Animathon. Hey, happy birthday. Uh, da, 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 da. I am going to simply give up. All right. Uh, back to where I was. Thank you very much. Oh, and I do want to give a quick shout out because I can. Uh, on a different Twitch channel because I can't raid using uh, StreamYard. Uh, the Full Gears are, are debuting their Girl Genius video game and that's kind of cool. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of toss that out that they are playing that. I don't know if you, if they were talking over top of me. I don't actually know. Stop screen sharing that. There we go. And where was I? <laughs> I have been a little bit on the squirrely side. Set up for two-player rules. For solo three... You, we know what to do for solo, yes. To set up a game of Ramen Ramen, thoroughly shuffle the deck. Next, deal four cards from the top of the shuffled deck to each player. These cards are each player's starting hand. You may also wish to, to take a player aid. Yes, please. Lastly, draw four cards from the top of the deck, flip these cards face up, and place them in a row next to the deck. 
so that all players can see them. That's going to be easy as that I am the only player, but hopefully you guys can see them. I'll also try and adjust this camera once I got a better idea of what's going on. Um, these cards are referred to as the fridge. The player who most recently ate a bowl of ramen goes first. Then play proceeds clockwise around the table. Anyone? Anyone else? Oh, wait, it's still just me. So I think you think that's going to be, hey, hashtag gurus here with a, yes, hashtag fumble. Ha, 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 ha. Very, it's, it's, it's true. I'm, I'm going to be bad at that. Um, important, make sure you leave enough space between the players for the bowls. Well, that's easy enough. Um, these, these are piles of cards that represent the workspace of the kitchen. In a two-player game, bowls are communal and available to both players. Fabulous. And I'm just going to double check. I think it said one. I'm going to double check here. Solo rules. Set up two, one hand. Okay, so I still will have, as near as I can tell, two bowls to work with. So that's great. So we're going to just pull these open. I will say, just as a generic thing, I don't love the box that this came in. Um, it, it It's... I mean, aside from being simple, it, it these cards are going to go flying. It, there's it, no ifs, ands, or buts about that, and I kind of hate when that happens. But, all right, so we've got one, two, yep, I'm just going to keep bumping this. It, I, 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 I don't like having this here. I, I'm already not liking this part of my setup. Um, pop that over there next to my water. Cheers, everybody. Right. I keep forgetting that the camera's going to track me funny. That's okay. All right. So we've got two things here. We're going to shuffle up these cards. Now, again, as they are all sorts of, of these colors, we're going <laughs> to... Vaguely... Shuffle them together. Like that... And then we're going to reverse these colors. Like this. And like this. So basically, it, just to narrate what I'm doing as you do on these things, I'm reversing the numbers. So now I've got a 7 at the bottom and a 1 at the bottom. Not ideal as it does... Uh, still leave all my twos and threes and middle numbers in the middle, but it will be at least a little bit helpful. I'm spreading things out. Besides, I'm going to be shuffling more stuff together anyway. All right. Four of these are going to go away. One, two, three, four. And I get one, two, three, four myself. And we're going to get one, two, three, four as far as ingredients over here. Uh -uh. How's that look? And you kind of see what's going on there? Close enough? Oh. Yep, I, I really don't like this thing sitting right here. That's okay. Uh, I'm just gonna... There we go. All right, so let's see what I got here. I got a whole lot of seaweed. Uh, some mushrooms and some bamboo. So, uh -huh. so let's see how to actually play. We're all set up. Turn overview. Complete the following in order. The summary of each section is displayed in blue for, for future reference. And probably... Huh, uh, surprisingly, not on the helper card. Uh, but to complete a bowl, a sum of 14 or all seven ingredients. Um, choose two cards from your hand. Play them into two different bowls. One card... Ah, there we go. Uh, one card to each. Bowls should be spread out and set between the players as each player will need to see what the cards are on in each bowl uh, to easily play their cards into them. No more than three bowls may be active at any time. 
After all, there's only three seats at, in the ramen ya. It's rather exclusive. Important, if a bowl is ready to be served, uh, as explained in the next step, it may not be served until after both cards have been played. Thus, you may not remove a bowl and start a new one in the same spot. That's important. Step two, check if any bowls are ready to be served. A bowl is complete and ready to serve if the sum of car the card value in that bowl are equal to or greater than 14. Or if all seven types of the ingredients are present in the bowl. Collect all of the, the cards from any served bowls. Because what? Because why bother uh, showing you that when I'm over here? I suppose I could just do it the opposite way. Yeah. There. Um, might as well at least half pretend I'm paying attention to y'all. Uh, da, da, da. Collect all the cards from any served bowls and add them to your side, face down, to be scored at the end of the game. Make sure to keep each separate for scoring. Important, neither player may look at the cards in a served bowl until the end of the game. Oh, goodness. What is it about Twitch that makes me fall asleep? Step three. Take one card from the fridge and add it to your hand. The fridge is now a row of... Uh, the fridge is the row of four cards next to the deck. Deet, 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 deet. Might move those up a little bit, but whatever. Uh, step four. Add one new card to the fridge from the face-down deck. There should be four face-up cards available. Step five. Draw one card from the face-down deck and add it to your hand. You should have a total of four hands in your card. This ends your turn, and the next player begins. End of the game. When the draw deck is empty, play continues as normal, but players will skip steps four and five on their turn. When all cards have been played and all players' hands are empty, the game is complete and players score the bowls that they served. Important, the game may end with some bowls that aren't served. These bowls are simply discarded and not counted towards anyone's score. I will come back to the scoring examples later. Um, because, yes. Uh, solo. So I'm going to just take a quick look here. Um, play as normal. How'd you do? Find out if the critics thought you are rum and check your points with the reviews below. So it is a uh, basically beat your own score solo game. Fairly standard. We're, we're, we'll take a look at that at the end of the next round. So let's swatch, whip this back. Bloop. So, and we're going to put we're going to pull this back up. Why this is not on the, the 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 cheat card is beyond me. I really don't get it. That's that's that is a silly I, I, mistake? Question mark. Um, but just so I've got the turn overview here. So, uh, step one: play two cards from my hand into the bowls. I'm going to do... Is it two separate, different... Two different bowls, yes. So we're going to put a seven there. We're going to take a look what's out here. I see another seven here. So that's good. I probably want that. Because that's going to get me points over here. I got those. I've got five here, four here. You know what? I'm going to drop my... I'm gonna drop this. No, I'm gonna drop a five here. That seems reasonable, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think it does. All right. So then I'm going to take a card. Uh, no, nothing's ready to be served. Take one card from the fridge. We're gonna take that seven. It's not like there's any real big panic to taking the cards, as it is solo. Replace it with a one. That's not bad. I got a. Okay. Uh, and draw another card. So now I have that in my hand. Once again, we're going to play card there. Card, no. I want 14. I want... Yes. So we're going to put a 4 in there. And we are going to take the... 
That's a nine. I want a five. And that ends that. Nope. I got to replace with a two, draw another five, and score those. I'm going to put those over there. And you know what? We're going to build a smaller bowl. We're going to go one. And over here, I. We want 14, so we're going to drop another 5 there. And that gives me a second bowl. We're going to double check. Yes. Yes. All right, good. I need... Whoops. I was going to go out. I need the 2. What I wanted. I want, that's going to go out. Draw. All right, so there's where my hand is sitting. Uh, so I've got a one here. I'll drop a two in there because again, we're trying. I'm trying to build a smaller bowl here, right? Uh, maybe something with all of the colors in it, and we will drop a six over here, and we will draw a one. Replace it. Draw a zero. So again, we're, we're that's what we're at. I don't love the different the color differential there. Um, it is it is somewhat obvious, but also within a printing error of being not so obvious. So I don't love that. Um, that's okay. All right. So I want again. Small stuff. So I'm going to drop that zero. I'm going to drop the one. I'm going to drop the one in there. I feel like this is a bad plan, but I'm going to, but that's, this is what I'm going to do. Um, no, no, I'm not. No, I'm going to, I'm going to drop the zero. I am going to drop the zero. And then over here, we've got, we're going to drop that for 11. So I'm going to take this three. Replace the three, draw a six, and move on to the next turn. So we're going to drop that in there. We're going to drop, again, don't love this, but drop a six in there. So that gives me 14 here. And we're going to take... <sighs> I don't want the nori. I have to do something over here, though. All right. We will take that. Replace it. That's what I want. Take it one out here. <sighs> We're going to drop six over here. I'm going to drop another zero over there. It's irrelevant to me because I've got that color in there, but I should still be doing something with it. We'll pick up that number two, Nori. Pull out a seven, which I, again, don't particularly want. And a five, which again, works, but not what I'm going for here. Um, so we will drop hmm don't we want different ingredients we don't want i don't want all seaweed in here right so uh, i don't really want to drop that in either but whatever we'll drop that in for a seven and then over here we will drop in the nori for two we're going to double check the the counting here so two eight ten eleven not ideal not what i want but you know Still good. Um, we are going to. Why does he go over? Uh, equal or greater than fourteen. Okay, so you can go over. It's not a. You don't bust, and that's good. Um, however, 
if I want to kill some time off, draw that zero, replace the zero, draw three, I can use that three. That's not necessarily what I want. What did I say was that? 10? 11. So I can drop that in there, and that will take me to 14. And drop that in there, which does nothing for me score wise, but we'll keep that down. I can also drop it over here for the same reason. Uh, I'm going to drop it in here just to see what else I get. And not the ideal score, but I'm going to still drop that in there. So that gives me 12. I need. Uh, I'll take this one. Hmm. It's big enough that I'm not going to get that anywhere, so I'm going to take that seven, blow it out of the water, place it, draw three. Uh, I really don't need that three in there. Number 11, so that would drop me out. I'm still going to drop that seven in there because that's going to score that. And... I have to drop the three in there. So both of these are going to score now. Uh, this one is going to obviously score better, but we'll see. Uh, all right. I want none of those, but we'll take that, replace it, grab that. And let's let's go for the short end of the thing. So we're going to go three here. We're going to go three here. We're going to take the one, place it, draw. Ooh, zero. I like a zero. Zeros are good. Uh, we will play. I'm giving up on this bowl. Basically, is what what we're doing here. But I'm I'm going to drop the zero in here. The five over here, which takes that up to eight. Uh, I want that. And draw. That's not bad. That's a two. Uh, so we will drop the two in here. Three in there. Drop a two here. And two here. So we're up to eight, ten, five over here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to blow that out with a six. That's not actually what I needed. That's okay. That's not a bad draw. So, um, so we will we'll score that one off with a six. We'll drop a two in there. Uh, we're going to take the four, and we're going to draw. Which I think I did that out of order either way. Uh, yes, I should have done that before, but this scores because this is at 11. This is at 16. This does not score as it is only at 7. Uh, all right. We will drop a 1 in here. And a, I don't want to drop this. Oh, I got a 5 right there. I'm going to drop the three over here. I don't want that one just yet. I mean, I do, but it's not particularly useful here. Um, I think I'm going to take that because it is at least lower. There's a zero. Not a zero I can use, but that's it. Oh, no, that's not helpful at all. All right, well, we're, we're going to move over to this one, I think. Um, ha, cheese. No, there is no cheese. It's ramen. There's no cheese. There is no cheese here, Tom. None. Lots of ingredients. No cheese. That is a different game. Look, different game with cheese. But, but it is a two plus, so I can't do anything with that. Ugh. All right. Uh, we will drop, however, 
Getting back to the actual game at hand. Denied. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, sir. Uh, we'll drop that zero over there. I'm going to drop the four in here. I don't love that, but what are we? So, what does that put us at? Five, 10, 12. Um, I'll take that. Place it, draw. So, of what I've got in here, I'm going to end up either having to slough something off or bust. Um, which, again, doesn't matter if I bust or not. Um, so, I said, what did I say? I was at 12. So, anything more than a 2 is going to hoop me. The pink one is irrelevant to me. So, I'm actually going to play that over here. And I don't currently have this. I'm going to blow it out anyway, so I'm going to drop the six there. So that's going to score. Uh, we will then take that one, place it, draw. I will play the seven in there. Play the one over here. Take the six. Draw another six. Um, that's fine. I will drop the six on there, which is good because that actually would have scored me a zero if I had, if I had dropped that in there. Um. Don't love this, but we're going to drop a four in there. So that takes us to eight. Uh, we'll take the... I don't actually want that two just yet, or that one. I don't want any of those, quite frankly. All right. Um, I'll put the two here, but I'm trying to blow this one out. Um, hmm... Ooh, that was actually... I'm going to stop and look at that. what that message was. Because that's y'all who are watching are going to get something fun here. Uh, hey. All right. So, um, James, my paint slinger, is going to try and pull out an extra long episode to close out his last uh, Dead by Daylight painting job. Uh, then I'll have something for you for TLAP Day. Oh, Talk Like a Pirate Day. I know what it is. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, yar. Um, so I gotta played there, played there. What do I want? None of these are terribly useful to me. Uh, you know what? We'll just take the five. No, yes. Place that seven up here. Not. Again, great, but could be the end of the world. Uh, could be, couldn't be. I don't know. All right, so what have I got now? Why did I take the seven? I wanted the two. No, I didn't want the two because I can't use the two over here. Um, we'll drop that other seven over there. And I have to drop the five over here. So that takes me to 13 here. Um, this one's well overscored. And we will take that two. And we will get a four. Of course, I got the same bloody color. Wonderful, isn't it? All right. So I do not have that in there. I don't have any bamboo in there. Um... So yes, we're going to drop that in there because that's going to score no matter what I play unless it's a zero and I don't have a zero. Uh, we will then drop a, we'll go for some low score again here, drop a two in there. We will draw the one, replace, draw. This is going to score, which is wrong order again, but whatever. Uh, and... We will drop the zero. 
and four. We'll draw that one, replace it, draw. Now I'm going to stop here for a moment because this is again, the solo rules are different. Uh, I think I go till everything is run out. Mm -hmm. Play as normal until the entire deck and fridge have been consumed and all cards in them have been played. So yes, I, I will continue on to all of this. Um, well, that's an easy choice. Then we're going to drop that one in here. We will drop the... three over here. We will take... None of this is actually good for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be, be hosed here. So, I need... Because I once I play stuff, if I these will get discarded if I don't finish things off, right? So it doesn't matter how many things I have in them. That's at seven. With, th with two colors, that would take it. Um, this is at three. So I take an eight. All right, well, we will play that. Play that. So we're now at eight and eight. Twelve. Yes, that's all I can do with that one. Um, so that's going to score. And basically, these will both go in here. 8, 9, 12, 13, 15. There we go. All right. So we've played everything out as per solo rules. Let's just go through and check the scoring now. End of game. When the draw deck is in, blah, 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 blah. Scoring. Players earn points for each unique type of ingredient present in a bowl. I'm going to see if I can do this. I'm going to try one thing here. Bleep. And... Ah, look at that. I'm going to pop that over here. So... Let's see what we've got here. Um, so this is all based on how many different ingredient types are in each of these bowls that I've served. Uh, one ingredient type gets zero points, two for one, three for two, four for three, five for fives, blah, blah, blah. So I'll just check them all. Uh, the values on the cards do not affect scoring. The player who has the most points, it's automatically me, but whatever. So let's take a look. We've got one, two three, four, four different colors there, which gets us three points. I'm going to try and put that up there. It's not going to work. So three points. One, two, three, four for three points. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I get L7? Oh my goodness, I did. I I must have best I must have not even realized that. Cool. Uh seven different green ingredients is worth ten points. I'm gonna make sure I didn't one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, sure did. So there's a ten pointer for me. One, two, three, 
gives me two points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm doing better than I thought I did. That's going to give me 10 points. One, two, three, four. Gives me three points. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Gives me seven points. One, two, three, four. Gives me three points. One, two, three. Gives me two points. Three. Gives me two points. Two. Gives me one point, right? Right. So 46. Quickly shuffle these together just to keep things nice and clean. And there we go. Uh, so uh, I'll check the frequent last questions in a second, just in case something interesting is happening. Again, if you're watching, please stop, say hello. Uh, I'd lo love to know who's around. Beyond just uh, Tom, love love my hashtag guru though. Don't don't get me wrong. Uh, solo rules. The credits have spoken. So I got forty six points. I got two score two stars. Raman declared exceptionally average. Exceptionally average. All right, but now that was of course the first time I've played through this. So that's a place to go. So let's do another round, shall we? I, I That ran fairly quickly. So let's take a quick look and reset this up. So, oh, I don't need that anymore. So, again, oh, yes, 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 Tom, we do love you. Big hearts. Um, Yes, please, by all means, say hello if you're if you're watching. I know that's a that's fairly normal for a for, ooh, voice squeak uh, on 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 Twitch, but you know, nevertheless, I can do that. Oh, and there is almost forgot. There's cards I discarded that I can shuffle back in now. So that is one of the other things about this game is when you're playing it solo, at least, is there's you're losing a hand, a couple of cards to see what it does. So we'll see. Uh, What's what's what? What's the what's the what? What? All right. I have my bowls that I'll be playing into. I have one, two, three, four for myself. I have one, two, three, four for that. One, two, three, four for the trash. Boom. All right. So. For those who who might be new, Han Solo. Oh, boo, boo. So for anyone who's now just, just joining us, uh, I have two ramen bowls here. The goal is to get either all seven ingredients into a bowl or 14 or greater as far numerically. Um, we are going to... A whole mitt full of friggin' eggs. Like, that's not helpful. But we're going to start things off with a one and one. And then I draw from the fridge. Uh, I don't really love any of those, but we're going to take the mushrooms. We'll replace that. And I draw a card. So now I still have four cards in my hand. This is and this is how a normal game would run as well, but you know. Um, so now I got a whole bunch of fours, lots and lots of fours. 
Um, I'm almost tempted just to slough that off, but I don't really want to do that either. So we will drop in four here, four there. Take the one. Place, draw two. Uh, I'm going to keep this one going on the small side. So I'll drop a one in there. Drop the other. I don't want to drop the four in there. Hmm. Eh, whatever. We're going to drop the seven in there. We're just going to we're going to slough that bowl off. This this is going to be a, an entirely average bowl. Um, don't love this, but eh, place it. Draw. All right, that's not bad. I got a two. Uh, so we will drop the drop the two in here. I'm going to drop this zero over here. Just to try and pump it up just a little bit. We're, yes, I'm going to slough it off, but I don't want to have to do that completely. Um, we will take the bamboo. One, replace that. Draw five. More egg. So that's, that's mediocre at best. Um, but we will drop the bamboo into that. So we're just going to quickly count this up. Three, four, eight, nine. So we're not, not doing bad. This one is not doing nearly as well. Now we're just going to drop the five in there. We're just going to slough that. Uh, no, I don't need that. I need that. I don't want the five, though. I got a big bunch of fives and sixes. And... What's the difference? So three. I got three different types in here. Which would give me two points. One more point if I drop that. No more points if I just slough that off. I'm just going to slough that off. All right. So I need. Love that, but that's what I need. And that's not actually helpful at all either. Um, we will drop the five over here, the useless zero here, draw this zero, replace that with a three, draw a six, not ideal either. Um, we will drop that zero. So again, we're sitting at three, four, eight, nine, still, still at nine. This is good. Um, that's useless. I'm just gonna, again, I'm just going to slough this. This is just going to be my average bowl. This is probably not the ideal uh, strategy, but uh, we will take that three. Let's go with a one. Draw five again. Uh, again, the five is not terribly useful to me. So we'll drop the three in here. That gives me one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. That is all of the different colors. So this is going to score no matter what. Um, this, I've got at 11. This will give me the 13. These will score. So that's good. This is a good 10-pointer. That, that's that's a, obviously a good thing. Um, we will draw the... This is at 13. It's going to go no matter what. I'm going to draw this 6. Replace it with another 6. Draw another 6. My God! All of the 6s. All right. So we'll, we'll, we'll just kick that out right now. Um, and this is going to suck. I'm just going to drop another 6 in there. All right. For purposes of dealing with stuff. So this is gone now. Slosh the, the ramen around there. All right. Da -da. We will draw 
I kind of just need to get rid of some of these high cards. So I'm going to draw that other six. Replace with a seven. That's not better. And a five. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, ay. Rangers. It's, again, kick my cameras thing. I can't. I can't do this. I cannot have this setup. This. I'm still playing with setups. I like playing with setups. It'll work out eventually. That is all right. Yes, it is. Um. All right. So. Well, we'll try and get that a little bit on the lower side. We'll just kick that out as well. We will then draw. That's not better. Uh... Growl. <sighs> God, I just want to slough more of this off, and it's not a good plan to do that. Um, we'll take another five. No, I'm going to take that seven. No, we'll take the five. To replace with a seven, of course. Three. All right, so this is not, not the end of the world. So we'll drop that there. That's going to give it give us seven. We're at 12 here. So that'll score that. We will start something low. We're going to pull that one. Place with a different one. That's not bad. Draw a six. So, again, we're at seven here. What have I got going on? This is The six is useless to me in that bowl. The one is useless to me in that bowl. Uh, I've got two fives. I've got a seven out there that's just a walk, wonkin' giant hunk of everything. And if that I'm going to want to put probably here. So we're going to drop that five, which then takes us up to 12. And we'll drop that one there. I'm going to draw this one, replace it with another three sevens up there. Jackpot! I'm not playing the slots. Needed the cheese. Yeah, there's no cheese. It's ramen. You don't put cheese in ramen. I mean, I suppose we could. You can get. You, you can totally make a cheese soup. It's usually a cream of cheese soup, but it's it's you. You definitely can have cheese soups. That would be interesting. Or like a French onion soup where the cheese is baked on top. So you do like the ramen underneath, cover it the hell with cheese melt the cheese which you would then use to just add more stuff onto oh tom you're giving me terrible terrible ideas this is bad don't bad bad tom bad bad nope giving me ideas um i still have another play i have to do here though um so again we are at what are we at over here eight twelve Have I drawn? Oh, I need to draw up here. I think is what I, I think is where we're at. Seven. Why are all my sevens together? Um, and it's a seven I can't even use over there. All of the big stuff I can't use. All right, we'll drop the five there. That'll break us on that. We'll put the other one there. Uh, I kind of just have to take a hit on a seven, but I can't because I and like risk it. But I've got a seven in my hand. So I'm going to take that five, which is also useless to me in that particular one. Okay, good. That's that's better if I survive. And another, another bloody seven. What the hell? Stop it. No. no so you're mean. Mean. Laughing at me. Blah, ha, ha, ha. Mm, uh. I'm good. Uh. You are awful, Tom. All right. So. Meanwhile, this is gone. This is this is this is gone. All right. I don't want any of this. This is the the five is useless to me here. The five and the seven are useless to me here. I have the seven I don't want to put there, so I'm gonna have to put the six there. Try and keep it a little bit on the lower side. So now it's at eight. 
And I'll drop that seven. We're going to draw that three. Che hashtag cheesy. Yes, you are. Uh, there is a chance that, that uh, things may die on me here, just for the record. Um, oh, a zero. That's, that's kind of helpful, actually. Um, oh, that's also going up there. Um, so if it does, I apologize. I will, but uh, I'm, I'm probably going to end after this particular uh, game anyway. So that it'll, it'll hopefully work out just fine. Um, so this is at eight. I've got... Now it's at 10. And... Screw it. I'm just going to kill that off. It's useless to me. But... And we will draw... I need to get rid of these sevens. Doesn't matter which seven. Three. Zero! Of the color that is not actually... Again, not particularly helpful to me. All right. So we'll drop a seven there. We'll drop a three there. Uh, which takes me up to 11, 12, 13. So I got one more card I can drop into this. And then it's done. Two more if I use that zero. I have a zero in my hand. Neither of which are terribly useful. But I think I'm going to take another seven over here. And hope I can get something better on this draw. I got a two of a color that I can't use. No, I did not get something better. Um, but I'm still going to drop a zero on there and just stall. Uh, I will drop another seven there, which again, terrible for points, but uh, now I'll take this zero, place it with a four, and draw a two. This isn't bad. This is not bad at all. Uh, so, you know, one, two, three, four, five colors here. The zero, the zero does me nothing. That'll take me to six. I can, what am I at? Six, eight, ten, thirteen. There is, unless I can pull a bunch of zeros, I'm, I'm, I'm hosed. Period. Um, so I can bust it now and have six. Or I can waste a zero. I'm not going to waste a zero. I'm going to just take it at six. Uh, and I'll put the five over there. <sighs> I'll take the three. No, I'm going to take the seven. Again, I'm just going to muck that up. Whatever. It is, it is what it is. Four. Um, I'm going to put the, four there and the two there, I will take the three, no, oh, I'm going to take, yeah, I'll just take the three. Uh, of course, it's seven, two. All right. So, I will drop the nine, tw no, five, nine. We will take this three. So, that's it. What did I say that was that? That's at 11. Hmm. 11. This would knock it out there. None of this is terribly ideal. All right. Well, good. I got another zero. Um, screw it. We are going to go zero there, seven there. This gets busted. Take the seven. Replace the seven. Take the six. Draw a six. Again, not helpful. 
we will drop the six over there. Again, the zero over here. We're going to take a stop. We're going to look. This is the next one I need to have in that color set for this. That's going to give me 13. You know what? I'm going to take this other six. I don't love it, but it's a thing I can use. One. That's good. And I get a five. So we're going to drop the five. We're going to drop the seven over here. No. We'll drop the five over here. We're going to drop the three over here, which now takes us to eight. We're going to draw the four. Really, I guess I just at this point I'm just drawing everything, I guess, right? Um four and the four and the seven goes there, that'll score. The four goes there. Now I actually have to stop and think for a second. I mean, I don't want to take these cards, but so I'm at five, seven, so twelve. Don't have a lot of options. Have to bust it. And the, the these basically these all these are these are dead. These are I, there's no point in even playing those. Um, they don't add up to fourteen even all in together. So we'll get rid of those. And let's do some scoring. Do, 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 do. Bing. So that, my, that was my last score was 46. Let's see if we can beat 46. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's all seven colors. Hey, I managed to get all seven colors. Why am I always surprised at that? <laughs> uh, so that's 10 points. That's a good start. Three gives me two points. Uh, four colors, which gives me... Oh, let me switch this around. Hold on. Do I have a better option for this? I do not. I mean, I suppose I can just put that there. Yeah, that, that, actually, that works really well. All right. Um, so, yes, four gives me three points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gives me seven points. Two gives me one point. Two gives me one point. One, two, three, four. Gives me three points. Three gives me two points. Four gives me three points. One, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven. Did I really manage to get a seven? I did too. Yay, 10 points. I don't think I beat my score. Unless this is a 10, and I don't think it was. One, two, three. Three gives me two points. So, 44. What did I say I got, got last time? 46? 
Let's compare this door. Uh, ha! Nope. One star. Diners left disappointed, not delighted. Nope, 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 nope. 44. I, I, I just barely made it to uh, exceptionally average. So, we will bring that up. I'll just take these right out because I don't need them at all. Um, that has been Ramen Ramen. Zoop. Uh, from Japanime Games. Thank you to them very much for that copy of the game. Uh, thank you again to uh, The Legend of the Traveling Tardis. Again, please tune in over on their YouTube channel, uh, which I should have up here as a banner. YouTube.com slash The Legend of the Traveling Tardis. I will be back there Tuesday, uh, next Tuesday, at... 4 o'clock Mountain, 6 o'clock Eastern, uh, and where I will be hosting part two of our uh, of our two-part show, which was going to be... I'm on the... That's my background. I don't want the background. I'm trying to be all suave and, like, better than Christian. Uh, we, we have our... Who, have we, oops, who are you watching? We will have a new set of that. Um, David Banner? Oh, I am not the Hulk. I am not the Hulk. I, I, this is not green. I don't do green. I mean, I'm Slytherin, but I don't do green. Do, yeah. Um, part do. Yeah, it's actually not a bad idea. I, it's, oh, oh, damn it, Tom! You give me so many good ideas. I may just have to. Have, oh, yep, yep. I, I am. I'm, I'm. If. I, we're, we're, I'm, I'm, I'm messaging Kevo right as soon as we're, I'm off of here. Anyways, thank you again, though, to the Legend of the Traveling Tardis and the Hangin' with Web Show who let me use their uh, their StreamYard account to broadcast this fabulous show. Um, thank you to, as I said, Japanime Games. Thank you to the Julie's Andrews, whose music you heard at the beginning and are about to hear again. Bloop. Um, here in the background. Uh, thank you for anyone who did join in and I'll probably be back after the Legend of Traveling Tardis on Tuesday maybe I'll come back in the meantime I don't really know uh, but until then all I can say is uh, good gaming and goodbye question mark bye